Hey, good morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. We're gonna do part three of our digital series and today we're gonna to take a look at the DigiRig one more time, but this time we're gonna connect it to my absolute favorite radio and that is the Yaesu FT60R. Uh, DigiRig just came out with a cable for that line of radios and I am really pleased with the results. So the plan for today is to do a um, simulated scenario uh, based on an experience I had at a wilderness public service event and we're going to do some digital modes out here in the field in the Tonto National Forest. Stay tuned. All right guys, so let me uh, frame what we're going to do. I've got the CF20 Toughbook. I have the DigiRig, the new uh, Yaesu HT cable, my FT60R, and at some point I'm going to talk about this new pack. This is the Everly Stock Little Trick and uh, it's more of a gray man bag. I don't do the gray man thing but thought why not? I've got enough tactical bags. So let's start with uh, what we have in top here. And obviously we've got the CF20 Tough Book. I'm going to boot this guy up real quick and put it aside. All right. And then I got to thank my uh, buddy David, uh, another ham out there. Uh, we went to go zero a uh, carbine yesterday, and he gave me this really cool admin pouch by a company I believe called Kanai. But this is really now my absolute minimalist uh, digital setup. So let's take a look at what's in here. So first and foremost, we've got the FT6ER, my favorite HT. We have the Comet BNC24 uh, whip antenna. And then I've got the BNC connector on there. And then I've got a little bag with everything we need to interface with the computer. Now, before I forget, in the previous episode with the uh, 6000, I had an issue with um, the radio getting stuck on transmit due to RFI. I'm not seeing any of those issues with the FT60, which is even better. So in here we have three cables or three components. We've got the DigiRig. I've got a really small USB-C cable, and then I have the new uh, cable from DigiRig itself. And uh, the setup I want to talk about is uh, I was working a endurance race in the uh, White Tank or White Tanks Regional Park in um, Arizona, and uh, we were responsible for being stationed at various aid stations, and we had to pass traffic. Basically, um, which race it was male or female lead runner and their bib number and the time. And I wanna see if we can actually use uh, NBMS. Uh, basically, that's just a software uh, suite of components that allows you to send digital messages um, over the airwaves. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So I've got this chain connected here. Probably try to come up with some type of better umbilical system in the future. And what I've done, I don't know if we're going to succeed, I set up another station at my house about a mile uh, south of me. And uh, hopefully uh, it's still recording the uh, other FL Digi uh, station. And I'm going to see if we can go ahead and pass those sets of messages, basically simulating tracking runners uh, to that station. So just give me a second here to boot up. And I'm wondering if I can actually clip the HT to my laptop here. And just like before, uh, I'm using 145.500 uh, based on our band plan here in Arizona. Oh, cool. Looks like we can do something like this. We'll see how this works. Uh, I have FL Digi running on my screen. And the goal here now is to launch a, another application that's part of this suite. And it is called um, FL Message. And we can actually send, among other things, CSV files or comma delimited, comma delimited files. So basically spreadsheets and we're going to try to pass some traffic. So uh, the first thing I need to do now is hit my command here key. Sorry, hit my command key. Type in FL message. And let's go ahead now and uh, send the traffic. So right now let's assume that I'm stationed at my race and I see my first runner. It looks like it is uh, 537 local time. So our first column will be 0537, comma. Uh, it's gonna be the 50 mile race, so I'll put 50 mile. 
and let's say it's the male runner and his bib number is one, two, three, four. And then let's also assume that the female uh, lead runner came in, let's say one minute after at 0538, also 50 miler, we'll put female, and then her bib number is 4567. So we, now we want to send this traffic over the air. So all we're going to do is hit uh, auto send. Now it wants me to pick a configuration file. We'll call this Tonto01. Save that. And if all goes well, we can actually see the traffic there on the waterfall or at least the um, Reed Solomon ID. And uh, in the background there, you should be able to see us sending the, uh, the message. And I'm gonna do a deep dive on NBEMS. This is the software suite that we're using. Uh, because I want to do a real technical deep dive. But right now, I just want to see if I can pass this message. But everything you see there in red uh, basically says, hey, we want to use something called uh, FL wrap to wrap this message payload so that we can calculate a checksum. And all that means is we can verify the integrity of the data we're sending. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and send the data itself. And basically, that's it. So hopefully, my other station got that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pretend now another runner came in, and it is now 0539. Oh. 0539. Uh, let's just put 50K here, and we will put mail again, and 1122. And let's go ahead now and send that off again with the auto send. And then at the bottom here, you'll see the read uh, Solomon ID there. Uh, it's just a way of identifying... Uh, my actual settings I'm using. And then as you can see there in the background in red, it's sending off the message. So I don't know if this is gonna work, but I think it'll be a fun experiment to see if the station about a mile from me uh, will be able to receive this. And I'm basically using that station at home to simulate uh, net control, for example. All right, guys, well, um, don't know how I'm gonna finish out this video, but I really just wanted to get out here in the field and really start to test all of these components together because I do have a vision for how I wanna operate in the field for public service, emergency communications, SHTF, and wilderness public service events. Maybe I said that, who knows. All right, so I'm gonna pack up and uh, we'll head on back to the house and see how we did. Well guys, it's a beautiful morning, so I thought why not capture a little bit more footage while I'm heading back home to check our station. Um, I could use your help. Uh, if you guys like these videos, consider subscribing. I never asked for that, but I had a goal this year to hit 10,000 subs. And it would really help me out because this is not even a part-time gig for me. I have a full-time job and it would be important to make sure there's value in what I'm doing. And like I said, I appreciate everybody who sticks around and uh, is helping me grow the channel. So at any rate, uh, the hill here is getting kind of steep. So see you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, we just made it back to the house and I don't know if this is gonna work. So let's take a quick look here. And hopefully there's something on the uh, screen for us to look at. And look at that. So this is the uh, station I have in the garage. It's just a VNC connection to the Raspberry Pi. And as you can see here on the screen, it popped up FL message and it sent our data. And we should even be able to, yeah, check that out. It's got all of our data here. All right, guys, let's go back outside and uh, we'll close it up. Actually, let me drop my pack real quick. All right, so that was a success. So just to recap what we did, I roughly walked out about a mile from the house. I had two stations. Uh, actually, the um, Yegi's right there. That was the antenna that I was hitting from the Tonto National Forest. And we were able to traffic some common delimited uh, data between the two stations. So. Absolutely great. Uh, if I need more power in the future, that's where the man pack, uh, the FT60R or the FTM6000 that we showed in the last video would come into play. So what I wanna do is I'll put some links down below on some, uh, a good playlist on NBEMS and uh, you guys can digest that. And uh, we'll probably do a future video where I talk a lot more about it. We'll go into detail. Uh, but for now, just suffice to say that NBEMS is a way to send digital traffic between stations. 
uh, that works well in high noise environments using the MT63 modem on FM, on VHF and UHF. It also is designed to work on HF using the Olivia modem, but that's just propeller head crap we don't have to worry about right now. Um, so we'll get into that in the future, but really I want to thank you guys all for uh, watching this series. I've got uh, two more in the pipeline, and then we're going to do some real fun stuff, uh, mostly on encryption and ham radio for SHTF. All right, guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.